Here's a quick reference for draining your 1,035 gallon potable water trailer. So in freezing conditions, it's imperative that the trailer be drained properly. So we know that the water comes into the front of the pump through this ball valve here, through this hose, into the front of the pump. Easiest way to make sure the pump is protected is by loosening up this inch and a half sanitary clamp here in the front. Remove the sanitary clamp and the gasket located inside of it. This hose will be off and you pretty much have guaranteed that the pump will not fill up with water. We've given you a, a small storage spot out here in the front where you can put, uh, put different parts. So when this thing is in dry storage, uh, you can put your parts inside here. There's a couple extra sanitary clamp uh, gaskets inside of there. But you can put the, uh, put the clamps in there. Latch this thing back up. You also have a sanitary clamp up here on the top. If you wish to remove that, you can, just to make sure that, uh, that the system's completely drained. Make sure all valves are in the open position. So when this is in the off position, it can trap, trap water on one half of it. Obviously, just take it, work it to the on position. Now this front, uh, front valve is a butterfly valve, not prone to having freezing problems. Uh, so, but just put that in the, that in the on position uh, and that should help protect you. Now draining the manifold, each of the bucket fillers won't do you much good for uh, protecting the manifold. Back here in the back corner, you got the inch and a half cam lock. I'd remove that, let all the water out. Try to position the trailer to where you can jack up the tongue and lower the tongue to where you get all the water from the rear corner all the way around the trailer, all the way out to this cam lock. Make sure that the manifold is completely drained. Then go around, cycle each one of these to make sure that you don't have a pocket of water trapped within one of them. You can leave this on, leave it off. Uh, if you leave it open, it's probably prone to getting dust and uh, pro possibly spiders inside of it. Uh, so you'll definitely want to make sure you have a pretty good decontamination uh, sequence in, uh, in place for when you put it back into service. Located in the back of the trailer, kind of the same thing. You've got a 2-inch cam lock, 2-inch cam lock, and a 2-inch ball valve. Any ball valve in the off position has a, uh, a ball of water trapped inside of it. Ball valves have to be in the on position or cycled in order to be uh, freeze protected. So right now, if this had water inside of it when it was in the on position, you got the center of the ball valves filled with water, you turn it off, that water's trapped within there. We recommend you open the ball valves all the way while you're draining. And when you put them into storage, you put them at just at a partial off position. That way water trapped inside can get out and water trapped around it uh, with the Teflon seal around the perimeter of the ball valve, uh, that gives the water a place to go as well. Same thing with the poly valves. You want to make sure that's all the way in the on position. Any water that could be trapped within the hydrant filler, obviously you got to get this all this drained out of here and out of the end, and then just put it to a partial off position. Go around, make sure that each one of these valves doesn't have something trapped in it. Open up the garden bib, and hopefully your manifold is, is drained completely. Now you do have two inch and a half iron pipe plugs at the both front corners of the trailer. Uh, if you feel the need, go ahead and just uh, probably cut the rhino lining off of here, uh, loosen those up, and use those for draining as well, just as an added protection. The surge tank. Surge tank has a low point in the system, which is here, and it will definitely trap water. When you want to drain the surge tank, all you have to do is make sure that these arrows are located to where the water can drain out of this fitting here. So right now, the water is coming from the surge tank out up here to the top of the manifold. If we turn the ball valve like this, you've got a three-way opening. All the water from this stainless braided hose can pass through and out the drain, and all the water from the bottom of the surge tank can pass the same direction. Okay, when you're in the on position, obviously you're gonna turn that off to where all your water's not dumping out the bottom, but in the drain position, just like that. About the only spot in this trailer that has a water catch uh, that is difficult to drain is this right here. There's a check valve in this 
automatic pump controller that makes it to where a small volume of water will stick from the top of this blue fitting here up about this high. So what we are recommending to do, take a crescent wrench, pop the top of the stainless fitting off, take an air nozzle, blast out the air with an air nozzle just to eliminate the volume of water that's trapped in here. A little added protection would be actually to remove this fitting and blast the air out, blast the water out of the top of the fitting that way. After that portion of the water, the freeze protection is completed, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Make sure this valve is on the in the on position, probably just a partial off. Drain the tank as much as, as possible. The tank will always have a small amount of water trapped in the bottom of it. Uh, just because of the location of the bulkhead fittings, but it can't damage the tank itself just because it has a uh, has a spot to expand to. Any questions? Give us a call, and we'd be more than happy to answer any of your any of your questions.